This is a hybrid cloud demo where I'm running four different clouds, all based on OpenShift 4.x. So Amazon, Google, Azure, and of course local, a local environment running on code-ready containers. So over here I have uh, my Google platform running, I have my Amazon platform running, and this is OpenShift here, and then I have my Azure running, so that's all running. And you can kind of see though that even though those have very different look and feels from their environments, they, they have the same experience when it comes to using OpenShift on those. So OpenShift running, in this case, on Amazon. You can kind of see tell by looking at my URL. This is OpenShift running on Google. This is OpenShift running on Azure. And this is the local one uh, running here on CRC, Code Ready Containers. And then, of course, I have the Cupid Dispatch Console, which actually shows me exactly what my topology of my application looks like. And then I have here, I can actually put messages in. So let's put in a message like one. And you can see this response comes from Amazon in this specific case. And if I put in some more messages like my name and hello, right, you're going to get a response from Amazon. And you can kind of see that Amazon is running right now. Now, if I turn Amazon off, so if I come over here and let's say take the Amazon worker offline, now we no longer have a processor on Amazon and the system has to fail over to another cloud. So if I go back over here, and actually we can look at this, by the way, the message flow and go over here. And then we basically say something like this, uh, test, okay? You can see test comes from Burr. So Burr is the cloud responding in this case. And you can see the Amazon cloud is now gone. Let me fix this uh, work update. No, we don't work updates, we want request. So get that flashing correctly there. Uh, another test, okay? And we'll see that Burr is the responder. So Burr is the responder, there's no longer an Amazon. So let's take Burr offline. So come over here. And this looks a little bit different because this is 4.1 versus the 4.2 I have uh, for my three public clouds. So my local CRC is 4.1. So slightly different look and feel. But if I come over here now and say uh, stuff, you can see that's responded from Google. So Google is now the only one processing uh, information as well as Azure. So if I come over here now and say, let's go to Google and turn that one off over here. Okay, shut that one down. Come back here and go back here and let's see here so more and you should see azure as the responder so azure is now the only one online it'll take a second for this ui to update but azure is the only one receiving load and i can bring all the other endpoints back on now so let's actually do that let's actually uh, bring google back up we'll bring burr back up and we'll bring amazon back up and let's do that bring them back online you should see them in the topology view here. You'll see their little yellow icons indicating they have a processor, basically at the worker node, which will respond to work request. So let's go over here and let's try this one more time. And you can see now Amazon's back online and you can see all our clouds are back online. Let's have a little more fun with it though. Let's actually add a bunch of load to the system and we'll just bring up our workload generator here. And that'll actually start spewing out a bunch of messages so as that particular component comes online, it'll start hammering it pretty hard. In this case, it's going to be hammering Amazon pretty hard because it does try to keep those messages local. So this is Amazon load. So it's going to try to use the Amazon worker. And we should see some message flow here coming online in a second as that worker uh, spins up. So here we go. Oh, as that workload generator spins up. So you can see it's got a thousand messages per second right now, basically going from Amazon to Amazon. And then if we watch over here, you'll see that this, this number here at the bottom will go up as well. You can see, okay, so there's 18,000 right there. So a lot of messages flowing. And you will see that it's actually spilling over to Burr a little bit here too. So you see a little spill over to Burr. And let me go check on my Google. And uh, come on, Google, you coming up? All right, looks like it's okay there. All right, so, so that one looks okay, okay. So what, here's what happens if we actually shut down Amazon now again on the worker side. So leave the generator up, but kill the worker, which means it's got to now spill over to, let's see how it, what it decides to spill over to. All right, so most of the load goes to Burr, which means it's coming back across the internet to my local <laughs> MacBook right now. And some of it is spilling over to Google. You can kind of see nothing really going out to Azure right now. And of course, nothing going to Amazon because Amazon's offline. Um, but if we took Burr offline, let's go take Burr offline again and see what happens and watch what happens here and then it's been it spills over to uh, azure and to google there and you can kind of see these message counts go up 
And so if I put in my message again, uh, more message, we should see that at Google, all right? So by default, most of the messages are going to Google. I don't know if I can put enough in here to basically see it spill over to Azure in some cases, but I might. Uh, yep, looks like it's all processing on Google, has the most affinity there. All right, so that's the hybrid cloud demonstration.